The Football Journal is presented by Fox College Football. They are the powerhouse program in North Georgia. With 16 straight region titles and two state titles in four seasons, the Calhoun Yellow Jackets have built an impressive football tradition, one that the town has stood behind for 70 years. Here's more in this week's Football Journal. They love their football here and winning solves a lot of problems. It's, it's something special, man. We, we always say it's the best Friday nights in Georgia. Nestled halfway between Atlanta and Chattanooga, Calhoun High School enjoys a unique high school football atmosphere. I never envisioned being here 17 years when I came, and uh, you know they, they've rallied around this football team and this football program, and it's a special place. Uh, Phil Reeve Stadium is a special stadium uh, on Friday nights. We've always had good support, and enthusiasm reigns supreme around here. As a 81-year-old native of Calhoun, I never thought I'd see an era like this. Calhoun embraces their football history. The program began after World War II in 1945. Seven years later, the school won its first state title, and this new generation of Calhoun champions still respects the 52 title team. It had some good teams and things with renown. Uh, had the state leading score in 48, and Kenneth Moore, who went to Clemson, had a great career over there. Really, it was a great happening, the 1952 team. It's a special bond when you win championships and, and the older guys are part of a championship 52. It's just, you know, it's, it's good to know each other uh, as champions. They're always giving you your props and telling us how we can get better and stuff. I mean, I love it when they come up to me and, and they're seeing me and I, and I see them in the stands every Friday night yelling their lungs out. It's a tight-knit Yellow Jacket community that pours its heart and soul into the football team on Friday night. And the team knows they carry an entire town on their back when they hit the field. It's, it's like a community, like just a one big family. It feels like every time we go on that field, like you don't want to let your brother down, you don't want to let your team down, you don't want to let your community down. As the Jackets readied themselves for another run at the state championship, win or lose, it's an experience that no one will ever forget. It gives people pride to say they're from Calhoun when they go away from here, and they've all got a lot to be proud of, even the ones who makes the big names and goes to college and the ones that don't, they've done well. You look down, down the road years from now and you always look back on Friday Night Lights and you remember that team, that brotherhood that, we, that we've, we've made and that team and looking back on the community that uh, really loves us and really appreciates us is a great feeling. Calhoun fell short of another state title trip over the weekend, falling 12-7 to Blessed Trinity in the state semifinals. The loss snapped the Jackets' 28-game winning streak, but it didn't dampen the enthusiasm of the community in Calhoun. For more stories like these, check out our website at myfoxchattanooga.com. I'm Ashley Dill with the Football Journal.